Now we're going to explore identity by looking at archetypes. Your life story is written based upon your identity, as we've discussed. One way to look at the core story of your identity is through archetypes. There are also other common roles or identities that people identify with, which we will address in another video. Archetypes were coined by psychologist C.G. Young, and he believed they were narrative patterns that existed within the human psyche itself. He believed that these characters are present in all members of our species and throughout human history, which is why we can see traces of them in art, literature, dreams, and cultures from around the world. An archetype is the core of your personality and is influenced both by your inborn nature and your life experiences. If your core archetype is the hero, for example, you have a tendency to be courageous, but also tend to attract people who need saving. It's like being cast in a movie as a hero and you're playing the part. There are many archetypes. However, Jung focused primarily on 12 that symbolize core human motivations. I'm gonna go over a brief description of each of these 12 archetypes. And you might find that you feel like one of them represents a core part of your personality or your identity. However, it's very common that more than one is going to appeal to you. Just keep your eye out for the one that you say, yes, this is me. Also, it's important to know that your archetypes change over time. So you might find that some of these feel like they applied to you when you were younger, whereas there might be others that you feel more drawn to now. So the first archetype is the dreamer. To the dreamer, life is meant to be for freedom and happiness. The dreamer fears being punished unfairly, being bad, or being wrong. The dreamer's strength is their faith and their optimism. Their weakness is that they can be naive or defensive. Other words for the dreamer include innocent, romantic, utopian, or naive. The next archetype is the good neighbor. To the good neighbor, life is for connecting to others and belonging. They fear being left out, feeling different, standing out, or being rejected. The good neighbor's strengths are that they are empathetic, they're down to earth, and they're peaceful. Their weaknesses are that they can lose themselves in other people's desires, and beliefs. They can also be superficial at times. Other words for the good neighbor are the good old boy or girl, or the silent majority. The next archetype is the hero. For the hero, life is for proving one's worth and being courageous. The hero fears being weak or vulnerable. The hero's strengths are their competence, their courage, and their ability to draw boundaries. Their weaknesses, however, are arrogance, always being in the state of battling and attracting people who need saving. The hero is also known as the warrior or the dragon slayer. The next archetype is the caregiver. To the caregiver, life is all about protecting others, caring for others, and rescuing others. They fear being considered selfish, or not being needed. The caregiver's strengths are that they're compassionate and generous, while their weaknesses are that they have a tendency to be martyrs, to self-sacrifice, and to allow themselves to be exploited. Other words for the caregiver include the altruist, the helper, the saint, or the nurturer. The next archetype is the explorer. To the explorer, life is for freedom to discover yourself through exploration. They fear getting trapped, conforming, or feeling empty. The explorer's strengths are that they're autonomous, they're independent, they're ambitious, and they have a high level of integrity. Their weaknesses are that they can be aimless or lack commitment. Other words for the explorer are the seeker, the wanderer, or the individualist. The next archetype is the rebel. To the rebel, life is about breaking the rules, revolution, or revenge. 
They fear powerlessness or complacency. Rebels' strengths include being outrageous, wanting radical freedom, and disrupting the status quo. Their weaknesses are that they can be drawn to a life of crime, conflict, or instability. The rebel is also known as a revolutionary, the wild, or the outlaw. The next archetype is the lover. To the lover, life is for intimacy, connection, relationship, and being attractive. The lover fears being alone, unwanted, or unloved. The lover's strengths include being passionate, appreciative, and the ability to connect. Their weaknesses are that they tend to be people pleasers. They can get lost in others. They can become dependent and they can have attention-seeking behaviors. The lover is also known as the friend or the team builder. The next archetype is the creator. To the creator, life is for creating things of enduring value and making visions reality. The creator fears mediocrity, settling, and the status quo. The creator has strengths including imagination, problem solving, and taking action, while their weaknesses are perfectionism and impatience. The creator is also known as the artist, the inventor, the innovator, and sometimes the dreamer. The next archetype is the jester. To the jester, life is for living in the moment. The jester fears being bored or boring others. The jester's strengths are joy, levity, and play, while their weaknesses are wasting time and being irresponsible. The jester can also be known as the fool, the practical joker, or the goof-off. The next archetype is the sage. To the sage, life is for seeking truth and for growth. They fear ignorance, being duped, or being misled. The sage's strengths are self-reflection, intellect, and seeking knowledge. The sage's weaknesses are studying to excess with no action or overanalyzing. The sage can also be known as the philosopher, the advisor, the thinker, or the teacher. The next archetype is the visionary. To the visionary, life is for understanding the laws of the universe and making things happen. They fear unintended negative consequences. The visionary's strengths include following their dreams, looking at the big picture, having a future vision, and seeking win-win solutions. While their weaknesses can include becoming manipulative. The visionary is also known as the catalyst, the inventor, the charismatic leader, or the medicine man. The final archetype is the ruler. To the ruler, life is for control and power and for winning. The ruler fears chaos, losing control, or being controlled by others. Their strengths are responsibility, leadership, organization, and being goal-oriented while their weaknesses are being authoritarian or unable to delegate. The ruler is often called the leader, manager, or the aristocrat.